hello guys welcome to this video so um in this video i'm going to sh introduce you to two libraries two python libraries okay shuttle and os they are libraries okay but before we go on i want to encourage you if you are new to this channel if you if it's your first time i want you to click on that red button especially if you have not subscribed yet click on that red button and stay active okay up to date with all the contents i'll be producing if you're an engineering student a gis and remote sensing enthusiast or just a coder yeah you can check out my playlist or my my um my contents on the the whole channel okay there are a lot of interesting stuff there so check it out and then leave your comments below so that i can know what you're thinking about All right, so let's go on to learn Python, Shuttle, and OS. So in order to do it, we'll just import Shuttle and OS. Now, just import Shuttle and OS. Now, part Shuttle and OS, they are basically libraries, just like we're, we're working with import math, okay? We're working with import math as M or import math. So basically a library is just imagine a library which contains books okay so a library is more of um, a big set which has a lot of libraries so a set of uh, I mean a lot of functions so a set of functions or classes which are capable of performing certain functions okay so if you consider this math math library here if I type math dot you see I'll have different functions I can square root I can find a cost and um, cosine the sign and then the logarith logarithm of various function um, values okay there are a lot of functions actually in this um, math library okay so this is basically what a library is it is a collection of classes or functions that are capable of helping you accomplish a certain task okay so i'm going to take away this import math and then we will work with import shuttle and os all right so now i want us to start by so what's going to happen is we are going to um um use shuttle to be able to move files or copy files from one uh, from one folder to another or we are going to use shuttle to be able to look at the list of files available in a certain directory okay so that's what shuttle and os does they they are libraries that allow you to be able to maneuver your way through your your system your system files and folders okay you can use it to rename files automate copying and um, basically a lot of stuff so you realize that if you have um a, a folder with so many um so many files okay so let's just let's just try this out i have this folder here with various file types we have csv png pdf okay another png a jpeg um, an mp okay that's not mp3 that's webm so various file formats okay so i'm just going to copy this file path here just going to copy it and then i'm going to create uh I'm going to create a variable called source src okay source or you can just say source and just put it in full. then you put it this way okay so source then you give it the you give it the position of now um what's this okay yeah so you give it the position of the file path now i will I usually add an arrow here okay this arrow allow would al allow python interpreter to read this as a file path if you don't put the arrow it would meet these escape characters and then it will not understand how to handle them okay so you put an arrow here so that it will see them as um so that it will see them as it, it will see the source as a file path all right so now let's try to list the available um Let's try to list the available files on this directory on onto our console. Okay, so first let's say OS. I'm just going to say folder. All right, I want to assign it to a variable. So folder equals to OS. Dot list directory. Dot list directory. Okay, um, take away this guy. Then you're going to say list directory. Then you give it the file path. Okay, source. All right so what what's going to happen is you might you would want to print it because you are working on the um editor you would want to print folder okay so that to to give back your contents so it gives you back in a list 
we have all these plus there we have all these plus their um, extensions okay if you want to also print them in in uh, in another way you can just say for for file in folder okay then you can say print file so it will print them individually as um, single lines okay so let's just see ah uh, so this is it it can print them individually as single um, sing on single lines basically these are this is what we have here all right okay so I want us to look at something else how do you um um how do you what's the name what's the name how do you make a new folder okay so sorry i'm just going to take away this guy how do you make a new folder for instance you have a folder or oh, we don't really have any folder here all these are just files files now we want to create a new folder without coming to click on this new folder option okay so what's going to happen is you are going to after the source okay you're going to say that um now there's something i want you to um consider okay it's a simple thing you need to make sure that you're working on uh, we are working in this particular directory okay so you might realize that this um i have a particular working directory here desktop library script okay that's not a working directory i'm working from right now this desktop this this particular folder is is on the desktop so now we are just going to change our working directory from this into this so that it will make our work easier okay otherwise you will have to be defining a lot of directories so if you want to know where your working directory is you can just say um print print um, what um os dot get current working directory this guy get current working directory like this all right good so this is my current working directory ah okay i thought uh, okay i just got a file from here so my current working directory is actually here that's another folder in my desktop so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the working directory from here from this place to this place okay so that's i will when i create a new folder or when i create any new thing it will automatically come here otherwise when you create a new thing you have to define where you want it to go to all right so let's just do that using the os os dot change directory okay or is a change directory now it will ask you to give it a path okay so what path do you want to change the directory to so i'm going to say change it to this source to the source path okay so so it will change the working directory from the previous one to where this guy is that's this place all right so after that we get current working directory so let's just do it again print os dot get current working directory all right let's see okay so now it has been it changed it and now it has printed our current working directory for us have a sense. all right so now now that you are good to go what we'll do is we will now go ahead and um, make a new folder okay so a new folder let's just create a new folder from where we are now before it will list okay so we will create a new folder how do we do that to create a new folder use os dot new oh dot create a minute os dot make uh-huh there are two of them so you use the make directory not make directories okay so os dot make directory and then where do you want it so um if you don't give it if you don't give it a name it would uh, name it as a new folder all right but i always prefer to give it a name so i'll just say um i'll just say new new guy new guy all right now let's check in our folder here we have new guy here all right in the same way you can always change okay you can always change your now if you have in a previously existing directory so now we have awesome guy right of awesome guy if we change sorry um where's that folder desktop work here 
work here we have awesome guy now if we rerun this folder to create awesome guy it's going to give us an error okay it's going to say that the file already exists okay so now this in this place what you can do is you can um you can use try and accept okay in order to catch this these kinds of errors if you have not if you don't understand how to do it you can watch one of my videos and uh, my recent videos on error handling okay it will help you be able to catch errors like this assuming you are working on something you are expecting that there might be errors you can use try and accept to catch these errors anyway so that's how to create a new folder on um on python okay so using the python os now let's try to so now considering this folder this folder which has files and um folders now what we are going to do is we are going to try and find specific file types okay so if you have messed up a messed up folder like this and you want to find a specific folder but oh i just removed it what you can do is um you can say all right let me just remove it what you can do is we're going to loop through the whole list and then we are going to say if a list or if one of the files ends up with this particular extension then print it for us okay we can either we copy it or move it or print it so we'll work with print for now so let's just see how to do it now so we're going to say for file in instead of the folder we created at first i'll just say os dot list directory okay so for file in os dot list directory this keeps coming okay so initially we would, we would say print i like to be sure everything is working so we'll say print file okay just to be sure that everything is working good everything is working i'm going to clear it now and i'm going to say don't print file anymore so for every file in the folder check if check if um the file dot ends with okay oh dot ends with is that how to spell it yeah dot ends with then you give it a certain extension okay so let's say dot csv okay so check if a certain file dot ends with csv now if it ends with csv let's say print the file okay so print the file all right let's see yeah it's able to locate one of them it's able to locate the particular one that has a cs a csv extension okay that's this guy here let's see let's try for an extension of png okay png yeah it has two of them okay so this basically now if you want to confirm if a certain file has a certain name for instance um let's look at this one this one here has excel in it okay so we want to excel excel okay let's let's try these two rather now you want it to check to see if any of the files has the text mate okay y2 mate okay or dot com any of them so dot com in it in this case what you do is you not use the ends with okay so we will have to rewrite our conditional statement here so we're going to say if what we're looking for let's say dot com dot com in file okay then now print file all right so we have yeah this one dot com this one dot com that's basically two of them yeah so that's how to be able to look through your files and pick a certain folder or okay, a certain file now instead of always printing what you can also do is you can move okay i recently used this um on 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 one of my folders i had um, a folder with so many um songs okay and some of the songs were having like were having duplicates okay so what i did was i searched for copy like this i searched for copy and then what i did was i said if you find any file which has copy attached to it knowing that any file which is a duplicate attaches attaches the word copy to it automatically so if you have such a file then um, drag it to a working directory so if you don't have a working directory what you can do is you can say os dot um, make os dot make directory okay and then you call it um, let's say duplicates all right duplicates then after that you can say um after that you can say that 
OS sorry shuttle so a shuttle is okay you understand what a shuttle is in, in real world as in a bus okay so shuttle is the one that does the transportation and those stuff so shuttle dot copy or move so let's say move shuttle dot move the file the file to um um is it okay I'm, I'm not sure what x what to use here dash duplicates I hope this works yeah my problem is this I'm not sure if Python sees this okay so this is a forward car okay so a forward slash it should work all right so this this is how you can write it so that what it ha what happens is it looks for all in those files it looks for a certain file called copy or that contains copy in it then it moves that file it makes it creates a folder called duplicates and it moves these files to duplicates instead of copy let's say um, dot com okay let's go back to our dot com and try it and see oops i have a problem with my extension here i knew there was something wrong with it so because i'm not sure of what to do right now i'm just going to create um a folder call or a file path called destination okay and i'm going to copy this because i know it's inside that folder and i'm going to say backslash duplicate okay so destination so what it's going to do is it's going to move this file to this this particular directory oh that is seems better i'm going to move this file to this new location okay so let's see cannot create a file when okay so it, the file already exists okay that's cool it's I'm going to clear this one or comment it out and i'm going to run it okay so it's able to do that forget these errors the, it, these errors were because the file did not exist okay so now um let's see let's go into our folder it has created a file called duplicates and it has moved these two files into it okay so this basically is a simple way of handling your files so if you have a, a folder with so many messed up files instead of copying or looking for a certain instead of um filtering a certain file type and then copying and pasting copying and pasting you can basically use this method to help you um go about your work okay and that's not just it if you are writing a program okay on python or in other language and you 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 want to automatically create files or move files or rename files or whatever you can use this shuttle and os libraries to help you accomplish your task all right yeah okay so basically this is this is a simple way of doing it okay you can also instead of move you can use copy here all right this is a simple way of using the um shuttle and the os libraries guys i hope you've learned something um it's nice um having you on my channel um if you have not subscribed as i said earlier i would like you to click on that red button to stay in touch with me and also stay up to date on my upcoming videos there are a lot of upcoming nice nice contents coming so i want you to um, stay in touch and be active on the channel all right i'll see you in the next video bye